And now let's take a look at the Psych Articles interface. The main menu of Psych Articles has Basic Search, Advanced Search, Publications, and About. There's also Change Databases, which we've seen before for ProQuest, that allows you to change to the other databases. Although there is a basic search and it's usable, it lacks a lot of interface options that would really make searching easier and more efficient. So we'll basically be sticking with advanced search. Publications will allow you to browse and see all the, journal uh, the journals in Psych articles. And it can be useful for searching, and there are times when you'd want to do that. But it's also not the most efficient way to search through a bunch of journals um, for certain criteria, especially search terms. So we'll save that for another time. And there are a number of useful features in the interface that we won't be covering this time and we'll deal with another time, such as command line, thesaurus, field codes, search tips, and also the utility menu in the upper right hand corner. We'll be covering those a little bit later another time. The main part of the interface are the search boxes that are right here toward the top underneath the menu. You can see that there's a search field where you can type in your search terms and then you have a choice to the right to tell psych articles where you want it to search with that term. So we can, if we type in the term racism for example we see uh, suggestions that come and are listed but we can also leave it as anywhere default to search in any of the fields of the record but we can also specify so we can tell it to search anywhere except the full text of the article we can tell it to search in just the abstract or in just the subject headings or index entries also, we can choose to tell it to search just uh, by author. And we can mix these uh, because we can add multiple search fields and indicate where in what particular field they should search in. By default, we get two and we can specify the and, or, or not, which we'll cover a little later another time. But we can also add more rows so we can add more search fields so we can mix so we can have searching for racism in the abstract, uh, we can search for an author, and we can also search for another word in the full text. So there are a number of options. We can also remove the rows. Underneath the search boxes, we have a limit to, so we can tell psych articles to limit our search to just the full text, uh, to peer-reviewed, uh, items and journals and entries, most of which actually psych article journals would fall under peer reviewed, but not all are necessarily. And then we can also limit it to impact statements, which basically like abstracts, but they're focused on the relevance of the research and report to the general public. And then we can also specify publication dates. So we can tell it to find things that have been published in the last seven days, last 30 days, last three months, etc. And we can specify a specific date we, and we can also specify a range of dates. And then over on the right, we have the search button that we can click uh, to then execute the search. And we also have the clear form button to clear out all the search options and go back to the default for advanced search. Underneath these, we also have additional uh, filtering options uh, that we can specify and search. So we have test and measure, classification, and we also have record type, methodology, supplemental data, language, age group, and population. We won't be dealing with these uh, now, but we will go into them a little bit more later and show how they can be really useful for focusing your search to help you uh, find what you need without searching through a lot of search results. And then finally, on the bottom, we have the result page options. 
which if we open it up, we'll, we can see that you can tell Psych Article how you want the results to be sorted, most recent first, oldest first, or by relevance. Uh, the relevance is determined by Psych Articles, um, so it's not exactly clear how it will determine what's most relevant based on the search input data that you provide uh, for the, that criteria. But that is a choice that you can use. So rather than just looking at the most recent, you can actually choose to have it uh, serve up at the top what, you, what it thinks is most relevant to you. You can also uh, choose items per page. So by default, it's 100, but you can specify fewer. Uh, that can come in handy if you're on um, internet connection that is slow or you just want to deal with smaller sets of, uh, of return data or let's say your computer uh, and browser are a little bit slower that can be an option as well and then you can exclude duplicate uh, documents and then you can include uh, by default the spelling variance and form variance uh, are turned on for search terms and I'd recommend just leaving those on because uh, spelling variants are, for example, there are differences in how certain words are spelled in, say, American English versus British English. Uh, so by having that spelling variance on, uh, spelling it one way, if an article has it spelled in a different way, such as in British English, it'll still be able to search and capture both. And then form variants allow you to capture uh, words, the changes in words in structure. For example, um, mouse and mice, uh, small and smallest. Uh, you can type one without having to type all the others, and then Psych Article will take that into account and search for those as well. So the variants uh, can be pretty handy. You can leave most of these as default, but you might consider changing the sort result uh, here. But you don't have to do it here because when you actually do a search, you can specify, uh, you can click and then tell it to sort the results uh, in different ways after you get the results.